an affinity for stories where there's brotherhood and camaraderie at the center of them. Um, maybe that's because I'm close to my brothers and understand that dynamic and that relationship. Uh, but also because this is just a story that I think needs to be told. You know, I learned a lot about it, uh, having read the script and then just diving in more uh, on the ground here on the set, uh, just trying to be a sponge, you know, and, and uh, trying to learn as much as possible and uh, give honor and respect to the, the veterans and, and uh, our, our military men and women. One of the things that I read that I thought uh, had to be Hollywood or, or made to be perhaps more than it was was actually the part that I got to do, which was Bruno's kind of big reveal as a very brave individual. Um, and from all that I've heard, it's true, which is amazing. Uh, and I'm referring to him getting in the SPD and, and shooting one of the planes down that was meant to attack uh, the ship. And um, his bravery in that moment and his out-of-the-box thinking in, in a moment of real necessity was, was so key. Uh, and he, he jumped up and did what he had to do, um, and it, apparently it's true, uh, but it's going to make for a really exciting moment on screen as well. When you're filming a scene that's as intense as the one we were just filming, you know, Bruno's big moment where he gets in the, the back of the plane and, and shoots down another plane that's coming into attack, uh, the thing I'm thinking about as an actor is two things. Uh, I don't want to mess this up, because <laughs> you only get so many takes, and when it's such an important moment to set up the stakes for the character and for the story, uh, you want to get it right, uh, and with the wet floor and jumping up onto the plane, jumping in the back and seamlessly grabbing the machine gun out of the back, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, but what I've learned is that, uh, you know, slow is fast, fast is slow. So I, I take my time in those moments and know that uh, as long as it looks smooth, it'll be all right. And then the, the other big aspect is that, um, you know, because it's one of those moments that, that can feel larger than life and perhaps like it was made to be more for the screen than what really happened, um, try to keep it as real as possible as an actor and uh, as intense as you can and live in that moment. Uh, and for me, that's kind of, I do that throughout the, the whole day, um, staying in that frame of mind and letting those stakes sit with me because we, we want to bring the audience uh, all of the feelings and all of the emotions and. Uh, the heightened sense of reality in those moments. Roland is incredible at seeing the big picture before it's a big picture, you know, and, and finding a way to uh, have these moments that feel larger than life, but then suddenly make it feel very personal. And, and um, as a filmmaker, that's something I, I always look for when I'm looking at different projects and things I want to work on. And working with someone like him has been a dream of mine. And, um, and working with him is kind of a dream come true. Authenticity is, is key with this entire film. I'm seeing that um, everywhere I look. Uh, and you know, the clothes are a prime example of that. This is uh, exactly what they would have been wearing, um, exactly how they would have been wearing it. Um, and you know, it's incredible to, to see the level of detail that's gone into all of it. And when you walk around the sets, you know, it's it takes up almost two studios, and it's just a, a portion of what the actual ship would be. The detail in terms of costuming, art direction obviously is, is huge. They think of everything. They build anything, like for example, Roland showed me a shot today of the aircraft carrier. I thought it was a real aircraft carrier. They built it. The movies is magic. Just a nice, nice guy, you know? Um, always just got a sweet spirit and uh, easy to talk to, easy to get along with, uh, and the same way on set. He's got his hands full, you know, I mean, it's a big movie, um, but very easy going. Let's see how this next scene goes with me in it. I like it very much, you know, it's nice to be around a director, A, that knows what he's doing, um, that has the whole, you know, model in his head, but is also very um, easy and forgiving, you know, that uh, will let you do your thing. Um, and sort of let things progress as they will. It's the uh, greatest pilot that ever flew. Uh, he has so many aviation um, firsts. Uh, one being, one huge one, is that he, um, he invented, basically, uh, um, instrument flying. So uh, he blacked out the cockpit, had um, 
I had a pilot in the front and he was in the back. That pilot put up his hands and he went up and he flew instruments for the first time. So what does that mean? You know, you have VFR flying, which is, um, you know, visual, you can see it, you know, there's no clouds in the sky. He, he paved the way so that we could fly in clouds in bad weather and at night uh, and land safely, huge. Um, and other innovations that I don't even know about. But when you say Jimmy Doolittle's name, um, A, it's recognizable and it's honored. There's always a, oh, you know, for aviation buffs and for non-aviation buffs, um, his contribution to the war, his, um, uh, his personality, uh, his attention to detail was legendary. It's always very interesting to take on a story and a role that uh, is, is from real life. And um, this was a, a very important uh, battle um, with the Americans and the Japanese within the Pacific. Um, and you know, these, these guys were real heroes. And um, when I picked up the script, I, I thought I'm probably going to get a little confused because I didn't know about this battle very, very well. Um, but the script is so well written, it really plots the story. And also you see it from the POV of many different characters within the story. All of them played very important roles within this, uh, this battle and, and, and World War II. So, um, yeah, it felt like a very special story. Um, you know, you bringing to life and telling, telling the story of, of real life heroes. And um, uh, that's always a privilege. And, uh, and when it's being helmed by somebody like Roland Emmerich, who knows these, this genre very, very well, um, you felt like, I felt like I would be in very good hands. And I've always wanted to work with him. So it was a, it was a, it was a great ex opportunity. That's something I've walked away with, realizing these guys really were heroes. They were, um, they, they were selfless and it, bravery to, to a completely different level. Um, every time they, my character, um, Wade McCluskey, has a line in the film where he says, um, every time we go up in one of these planes, there's a, there's a good chance we might not come back. And that, that's, you know, to be able to, you know, that's your job, is that every time you do your job, there's a chance that you're gonna die makes you contextualize what this really, what this war meant and what, you know, what these, these pilots and sailors and, and, and U.S. naval, you know, guys um, sacrificed. You know, we all realize we have, a, we have a very important role and responsibility because we're all playing real people and uh, their relatives um, will, you know, will get to see what their ancestor did all those years ago, and so we're, you know, you feel a sense of responsibility to, to do a, to do a good job and an honest job and tell a story, you know, tell this incredible story about these men. Knowing Roland's work, the battle sequences and the battleships and the air, airborne fight fights and battles will look incredible. I mean, you know, you just know that it will be a spectacle to watch. But also, you know, there's a real heart to the story. We're not just watching the airplanes, but we look, we're inside the planes with the pilots, seeing the reactions on their faces, seeing, you know, the desperation and, and all of that stuff, which I think is what will make this story come alive, not just because it'll look fantastic, but also you'll be with those pilots, you'll, you'll feel their you know, their, their anguish and their desperation and their bravery and their, you know, being scared, you know, all of those things are going on in, in each of those scenes, you know, so it's, it's, it's great. I mean, he's, he's definitely, uh, I feel very confident with how Roland is telling the story and I think it'll, it'll be, it'll be quite the adventure. Ed is a gentleman. I love that he is sort of so stoic and strong and really sort of is able to portray those aspects of Dick. He sort of shows the vulnerability that, that I think Anne is the only one that kind of gets to see. He just brings a range and just so many colors to this character. He's so handsome, he's so winning, you can't help but root for him. But he makes such inter interesting choices as an actor and as a scene partner. He is such a delight to work with. We were lucky enough to shoot at Hickam Air Force Base and Ford Island. And I think just the sense 
of shooting in these historical locations. These are where the families actually lived during World War II. It brings a level of authenticity and helps you sort of really feel grounded and put yourself in those character shoes. Roland's films are always so visually stunning, and I've never been a part of something on this scale before. I think the level and focus and attention on detail is something you have come to expect from him, but I even think it's, it's you know, multiplied with this particular movie. I mean, the fact that they're recreating these particular scenes, they're recreating some of the aircrafts from the time I happened to be shooting in an old abandoned home on Hickam Air Force Base that they brought to life again and it felt again like you were back in the early 40s and it does something to you as an actor it's sort of the cherry on the sundae you can do as much research as you want obviously getting into hair and makeup and wardrobe like can help sort of firm you up as to who these people are but when you're surrounded by what the world sort of looks like at that time, it just takes it over the top for you. It makes your job exponentially easier. I think this movie is timely and important because we're telling, you know, these true stories of real heroes, of men who have oftentimes been forgotten, or their stories have been misrepresented or mistold. I love that by being a part of this movie, we're honoring the greatest generation, you know? And being able to sort of pass on this piece of history to the next generation. I think this is a movie that audiences will feel in awe of, and it's like we're all going to be transported back into time, and there's always something to learn from a historical movie like this, and just seeing the, the grit and the determination of these men and their acts of bravery, it's it's definitely something to celebrate. Leighton is an intelligence officer, so he's very analytical. Um, but what I found very interesting about him when I read a lot about him, you know, I like to read what people say about him than what he says about himself. Um, he was known as being pretty dry, pretty quick-witted. Um, uh, I, th yeah, I think he knew that. Roland has just been awesome. I mean, to, to uh, I, I told him after a couple weeks, I said, there's nothing that that phases you. I think when you're Roland and you deal with this, the scope of the, some of the movies that he does, um, uh, nothing is too is too big. I mean, this is a massive film, and yet he just directs every moment to moment to moment to moment, and he just kind of laughs it off. And there's a great amount of passion and fun and love for filmmaking that I see with him. That is absolutely infectious. It makes you want to work with him again and defy the odds uh, with a little bit of luck, a ton of skill, some good intelligence work. Uh, we won, and it, and it changed the course because there had been a lot of battles leading up to this. Um, and Midway was huge. Um, and when I met Admiral Fort at uh, Pearl Harbor, um, and his first thing he said to me was, I'm an expert on Midway, it's my favorite battle. Like, Navy guys understand the importance of this. And I think because of technology, one, uh, uh, that there just hasn't been a proper film about it. I don't know if it could have been done between all the flying and the sailing and all the effects. Um, it's a little easier to probably uh, shoot a movie in, in the, what am I saying? I've never shot a movie in Germany, but I'm saying that 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 those types of, of World War II movies are certainly, I think, probably at least easier from an effects level of than a than a movie in the in the Pacific. Um, so, knowing that it couldn't be done before in a proper way, it's really exciting to be a part of it now.